Flow trajectories are another great way to visualize the 3D fluid flow. Using flow trajectories, you can see the streamlines and the paths of particles with mass and temperature in the fluid. Another benefit of flow trajectories is that you can see how the flow parameters change along each trajectory by exporting the data into a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. On top of that, you can also save any trajectories that you'd like as a SOLIDWORKS reference curve. Let's create one now. I'll right-click Flow Trajectories and select Insert. The first thing the Flow Trajectories Property Manager asks me to do is specify the starting point. I want to use the first outlet as the starting point. I'll split the Property Manager and select the first outlet from Flow Simulation Tree. The rest of the defaults will work fine for now, so I'll click the check. Flow calculates the trajectories and displays them in the graphics area. If I zoom in, notice that the trajectories are entering and exiting through the lid. This is the reason for the warning we saw earlier when running the solver that stated a vortex crossed the pressure opening. When fluid flow both enters and exits the same opening, the accuracy of the results will be affected. In a case such as this one, we would typically add a connecting component to the model, such as a pipe or tank. This would effectively extend the computational domain so that the vortex doesn't occur at an opening. Another option we could have used to deal with this situation would be to change the boundary condition applied to this outlet. Using a different boundary condition, perhaps an environment pressure boundary condition, might give us better results. We can also use the XY plot command to plot a variable along a line using the sketch commands in SOLIDWORKS. Let me quickly hide the flow trajectories. I'll right click on XY plots and select Insert. I want to create a plot of the pressure and temperature along the length of the pipe. The first selection asks me to choose a path for the plot. I can choose the Sweep Path from the Feature Manager tree and choose Length. For the parameters, I'll activate the Pressure and Temperature checkboxes and click the green check. When I do, we can see the XY plots of the temperature versus the length and the pressure versus the length, as well as the plot data in Excel.